The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back into it and back at it again. Welcome to The Local Show with Tom and Steve. Happy, happy summer. It's just gorgeous out there. A week away here from Father's Day. You know, Steve, I think I'm going to go up to that uh, car show that I used to go to all the time and show my Mustang. Um, I think it's by the Prison City Ramblers out there in Auburn on uh, at Emerson Park. And they okay. have a huge Father's Day uh, car show. And it's on a Wasco You're going to show your car? No, and thanks for reminding said. me. No, I <laughs> used to said, show the I'm car. I'm going to sh- Matt, the, and, and, I'm going to uh, like. No, I saw that. I heard that too. I, I used up. to show the car. Don't you park oh, next to show? Used to you show park next to your swimming pool, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> And I don't have a car, and I, I have nothing uh, to speak of. But uh, all my kids are You're trying married to say, too? Yeah, yes, <laughs> it's because I'm married. And, uh, you know, well, you know, what are you, you going to do, right? You can't have toys all the time. So I, uh, I think I'm going to go, though, because it's just so huge, and it's really nice out there. Emerson Park is beautiful. Well, you've gone out to Owasco Lake because you have a friend yeah. who yeah. lets you yeah. use his boat and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I have a friend. That's the key point right yeah, Well, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, friend of convenience. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's all, all good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Father's Day, I think, uh, you know, because we have pictures of when I used to show the car of the kids being, you know, they were babies oh. and, uh, you know, young and they were sitting in the car. Was it a nice car? Yes, yeah, so it was very okay. nice. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, but. So we're, we're going to go down to that uh, winery down at uh, Fairhaven. Oh, yeah. yeah Coloca. Coloca. Coloca winery. There's, great a, place. there's a clam bake. Oh, is it for Father's it, Day? Yeah, and my my brother in law, uh, sister in law, Junior, we're going to go out there. Nice, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they were talking about it, and, and uh, we got tickets and everything. So that's uh, yeah. Will Nate be home at all? Or uh, uh, no, Nate. Nate uh, for people that don't know, that's my my Air Force son. Yeah. No. No. Oh, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just no. no. Okay. The short well, version is fine. no. I just know that I figured out what I'm doing on Father's Day. What are you going to do? a car show and I'm and going to a clam bake? You going to do both? <laughs> Whose voice is that, Tom? <laughs> Who is that third voice in the room? Matt Mallory has joined us. He's the owner of PS and Ed and Mallory Unlimited. How are you there, Matt? Awesome, gentlemen. Thanks for having me. So uh, tell people what you do over there on the complex out in the Lafayette. Oh. <laughs> the compound. <laughs> the Goodness. compound. We do so much. So we've got a, a hobby farm, chickens and bees, and a garden, fruits and vegetables, uh, contemplating adding goats this year, which would be kind of fun. Yes. Uh, we've got an Airbnb. We run out uh, to uh, RV and then a guest house we call the Lodge. Nice. Uh, yeah, and then do training. That's, a, that's my primary income is teach classes to people all over the country. To do what? Uh, everything, rifle, pistol, shotgun, defensive tactics, taser, pepper spray, mindset, you, know, you, you name it. I teach about 100 courses 300 times a year all over the country. Right. To, Can Tom take his boat course from you? Yeah, I do boat ride, drive oh, you ride. You do boat ride too. Hunter ed. Wow. Yeah, I do it all. You're the ultimate outdoorsman. Yeah, I self, uh, self-preservation instructor, as I like to call yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. So he has a bunker top. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about it. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying. You don't, you, don't, you don't tell people that you eat uh, raw liver and everything and then take steroids in the, no, behind the scenes, the, right? Not the liver king, and, and we don't talk about Bruno. I mean, yeah. bunkers. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, tell people about, uh, you know, pistol permits and things like that. You know, it's been hard to, to get one here in... Uh, New York State. You know, that's it's kind of always been a a, like a, a, a false a false well a false statement in some sense. It, okay. It's harder. It was harder in New York City. Gotcha. Uh, upstate, it wasn't as hard, depending on the county you lived in, mm-hmm. and if hard would be okay, you get a license, but it'd have a sportsman restriction, which New York State law never had sportsman anything in the law. The judges, the licensing officers in the upstate counties would just say, okay, well, I, I can't deny you because you don't have a criminal history, but you, you know, or you don't have a bad criminal history. You, you know, you had a DUI when, a, when you were a kid. So mm-hmm. yeah, I'm going to give you a sportsman because I really don't want you out in public with the gun. Well, that was never law. That was kind of crappy that the judges were doing that, but they did. Um, now, because of the new Bruin decision in 2022, uh, proper cause is gone. So you didn't have to have a valid reason to have that it. Used to be people say, well, I carry cash or I own a business. And that's what that was all that about. Would be yes. that proper cause. So, so then they could prove that they need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does that, uh, con- does that contradict the second amendment? It, in does. Any place it does. So a, a well-regulated <laughs> militia being necessary to security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I, I don't see licensing or anything in that statement. And that's the second amendment. So yeah, you're right. And, and I, and that's why we won in the Bruin decision in the Supreme 
Supreme Court and that they got rid of that. But then New York State, literally the next month, July, voted into law the CCA, Concealed Carry Improvement Act. They changed the name of proper cause basically to good moral character. So now instead of having a reason, now the judge can have a reason to deny you. So one person can make a decision whether you get Second Amendment rights or not, okay. which is also junk. When I grew up, uh, a lot of people, of course, I grew up in the Valley, so uh, <laughs> maybe all the bets were off. But, uh, you know, back then when somebody had their Bronco or, the, you know, their you know, whatever, right? they had a shotgun in the back. Yeah, right in the back. You, oh, yeah. You, you could carry the shotgun around. Can you not do that no, anymore? Yeah, it's not advisable to do that, especially now with the new CCA law. It's supposed to be out of sight from outside the vehicle. Really? So, yeah. And, and I always say, too, that glass only keeps good people honest. So if the only thing between the outside world and your guns is glass, yeah. it's not really locked up. And, you know, I have breakfast and lunch and, and, and whatnot with judges, DAs, and sheriffs on a constant basis annually. Yes. And they've all told me that they, the thing they hear the most and the thing they hate to hear is <laughs> guns got stolen out of vehicles. So uh, yeah, yeah, you got to keep got to keep that. Yeah, stuff Tom, up. everybody. So I mean, right. how many friends had a truck, a gun rack and Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In the school park, in the lot, I mean, it was just that was normal. And the display case with glass. Oh yeah, yeah. And you can see the guns. <laughs> yes. which doesn't pass muster anymore. Oh either. no, that's yeah. not. So if you have a, a, a rifle or a shotgun, yeah. can you carry it in the bed of your truck in in a case in a locked case? Yeah, the, yeah, the ideal way to do it, and in my classes, I'll yeah. tell people get a hard sided case yep. um, that can lock. And then secure it to the vehicle with like a bike cable and padlocks. Right. And then out of sight, put a blanket over it, put a shade, privacy shade, or in the trunk where mm -hmm. people can't see it. Tonneau because, covers. Right, covering exactly. Yeah, Just yeah. something to, to obscure the view, but then make sure it's secured to the vehicle. So, because if they break in and steal it, right. well, then now you got to explain how it got stolen. And you don't want that in bad guys' hands. Gotcha. So it's okay to have those long guns, mm -hmm. uh, but you can't have a pistol hidden. Like a, like a, 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 no, that'd be concealed. That's fine. Okay. That's totally legal. Yeah. So, so if you have it on you, a handgun on you for self-defense, yeah, have it loaded around in the chamber ready to go because you need it at a moment's notice. But if you have, if you take that gun off of you, the handgun, or you're not using the rifle or the shotgun, yes. then unload it and locked up so that somebody can't take it when it's not in your possession. So what's the perception? Open carry, conceal. Some states are, what's, why do some people think one is better than the other or different? Explain this. So think, think of Wild Wild West days, right? Back right. in the day, people walk around, everybody walk around with a gun. Yes. And, and everybody knew how to use the gun. And you <laughs> wouldn't dare walk up and touch their gun. That's like getting on somebody's motorcycle. You know, unless yeah, they yeah. give you permission. You know, the death sentence. So back then, everybody was really proficient with a firearm because it was the way of life. They needed it for self-defense against four-legged animals, yes, and but also two-legged animals, humans. Mm -hmm. right? It had nothing to do with hunting. You like my shirt? Second Amendment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bear <laughs> is not about hunting. Yeah, yeah, Second yeah, Amendment yeah. is that, not that about hunting. That shirt makes great radio, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see it on the YouTube See it on the YouTube channel. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so, so that being <laughs> said, nowadays, yeah. open carry is kind of like the shotgun in the back window. People yeah. are despicable. Morals and ethics gone down the crapper. So you're not going to do that. You also should. I, I personally am not a big fan of open carry because bad guys see your gun. They're not going to walk up and go, hey, I, I want your gun. Give it to me. Right. They're going to walk up and hit you with a two by four when you're not looking. And then and take, take the gun. Yeah. So yeah. open carry. Yes, it's legal in some states. If people do it and then it's legal, whatever, do your thing. Personally, I don't want a bag. I know where my gun is. Right. If they're going to attack me. I want I want that ace in my pocket where they don't know where it's at. Because gotcha. That might be my lifesaver. So once again, let's uh, rifle through yep. <laughs> all the things that you do uh, with our last 30 sections sure. here so, so people can get in touch with you. I appreciate that. So uh, predominantly is teaching rifle, pistol, shotgun, self-defense. Voter Ed Driver and all that stuff, all up on the PSNED, public safety and education.com website. Uh, Mallory and Limited's our primary company where we've got I mean, everything listed. The next thing would be the rentals, the Airbnb rentals. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the property with a stock pond, waterfalls, and, and, and 23 Beautiful. acres people can uh, visit uh, with the bees and the chickens. <laughs> and you could feed the chickens, feed the fish in the pond, nice. et cetera, and the fruits and vegetables. Uh, those are the main two. So businesses. all that stuff, MalloryUnlimited.com. Yep. They can find out if they want to take a class, need yeah. to learn something, or just ask a question. Uh, uh, 567 9268. That's it. So 567 9268, com. Have guys. a great rest of the day, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, coming up next, Ryan Novak. He's the owner of the Chocolate Pizza Company right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.